What up? I'm Jazz. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am in a tent. Why am I in a tent? I don't know. I just brought a tent. I've just made a video about putting up a tent. <laughs> gosh, what is this content? Oh my gosh, content? <laughs> I am so funny. I'm so funny. That was funny, okay. Oh dear. Oh, it's really hot in here though, but it's really cool, so I decided to film in here, but I might actually turn into a puddle because I'm literally melting. Anyway, I thought I'd just do a little story time that I've been meaning to do for a very long time. This is the story time of when I almost died at Longleat. Literally almost died. Okay, not literally. What was possible? This happened this happened a few months ago. I think it was in April. I don't what month is it now, like June, July? Something beginning with J. I'm literally gonna die. The story starts with me, Jade, Jade's mum Shelley, Jade's boyfriend Calvin, all of us. We went, I love them all, we all went to Longleat. And it's a really long drive. Oh yeah, if you don't know what Longleat is, it's, lo it's a safari park in England. And, and there's loads of animals and I guess it's like a zoo, but it's different, I guess. Because it's lots of gardens and like, they're like free roaming most of them. So they're like in fields and you can actually drive through the fields. We, we like arrived there after a really long drive. It took like three hours. Okay, probably not that long, maybe like two hours. It was a very long drive and I didn't actually realise how long it was and so I didn't take any car sick tablets because originally I thought we were going to Monkey World which is like five minutes down the, down the road but no, so I didn't take any car sick tablets so I felt absolutely terrible but I was being really polite and didn't say anything. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. And also I had this really like big hot jumper on that Jade gave me for my birthday and I freaking love it and so I was kind of hot but I didn't want to take it off because I loved it so much like <laughs> just, just take your like gifts off stop wearing them anyway we finally get there and we see there's giraffes then there's um zebras and I think we saw elephants and these little kangaroo things, but they weren't kangaroos, they were like miniature ones, and I don't think they had pouches. I don't know what they were called, but they were really cute, and I was, we were like hopping along with them, it was cool. And then we saw the, what were they called? Lemurs, oh my gosh, we're in a lemur enclosure, we actually went inside. I didn't film any of this, like, ugh, I didn't film any of this, why didn't I film it? Like, the lemurs in the enclosure, we're gonna have to go back. Right, Jay's watching, we're going back, we've got to film the lemurs, we can steal them, because they're so cute and fluffy, and their tails are like, so amazing. I just need a lemur, they're just cool, you know, you know, you know? And then after that, we decided to see like, walk around animals first because our legs were like dead after this really long journey you know remember remember when i was explaining it what it was i said there was field and they've put a fence around it and there's animals in the middle and they're like running about and, and there's a road going through it and you can drive in your cars you have to drive really slowly so you don't like kill everything because that wouldn't be kind to the animals if you killed them that was deep. I like drive through like 10 enclosures and there's like the first one is the monkeys and so you drive really really slowly like and the monkeys like jump on your car and here's a picture of some monkeys on the car. Yep yeah, that was magic they just popped up and yeah that was really cool and they were really cute and cheeky and they like pulled the they were like pulling antennas off and pooping on the cars. <laughs> oh dear. And so yeah. Then once you like drive into the next bit, you like I think they were called gazelles. They weren't gazelles though. They they were like deers and they were like they might have just been reindeers. I th yeah, I think they might have been reindeers. And but then Here's where the story gets juicy. Sorry for saying juicy. <laughs> juicy, that's a great word, isn't it? So we go to the rhino enclosure. And bear in mind, there's a massive, like you're going, like it's like a traffic jam. 
and the like the cars are going so slowly like unbelievably slow it's ridiculous and so you have to like put your car on like a cruise mode or like I don't know what it's called it's like you have to go really really slowly in your car and Shelly's car didn't like that and so we it kind of got a bit hot so we were just like it's probably nothing it's probably nothing and like so we keep going like through this enclosure we can't actually see the animals yet because they're more in the middle not on the outskirts and so yeah so we go closer and closer and we see the rhinos like we, we're literally next to the rhinos and they're so beautiful and they're like rocks and they've got horns you know what a rhino is they're so cool and i love them and they're they're just so cool and yeah all of a sudden bloody smoke keeps coming out of the freaking bonnet of the car the front of the car i'm sat in the front as well and it's on my side so then we're like oh my days right get out do i get out do i stay in do i get out do i stay in do i get out and then Shelly's like, get out, get out, get out. And I'm like, but there's bloody rhinos. <laughs> and then we're just like, just get out, just get out. So like, I get out in a freaking rhino enclosure. This guy comes over, so you have to get back in the vehicle. Like, and I'm like, there's fire coming out of the vehicle. I'd rather get trampled to death than burn to death, I think. <laughs> Calvin got out because he's really he's a good person I like the Calvin he's a proper gentleman and he's like really smart and he like starts trying to fix the bonnet but it's like on fire well, it's not on fire it's just like really hot and all the steam's coming out <laughs> so then this guy is like really persistent what was his name what was his name he was really nice this rhino guy was was it was it Matt or no what was his name Oh my gosh, what was his name? I've forgotten him. This was so long ago. But we all really liked him and then we he had really cool tattoos and we were just like, you're really cool, we love you, thank you. But basically, he was like, you have to get back in the vehicle and wait here for half an hour and I'll go and get like some water to like give your car a drink, like to cool down the engine and put like, you need like, in a car you need like this, there's like a little bottle and you have to always have it filled with water. I don't know what it is or why. I don't know how cars work, but yeah, you need that. And so this guy just brings the rhino watering can. Like, it wasn't a rhino. It basically just pours like a can of water like half an hour later on this car and it goes and yeah. Then we just wait ages, and we're literally waiting ages. We're all Snapchatting it. Follow me on Snapchat if you want. If you don't want to miss all this Pavlova. Die! It's so hot in here. It's like this heat now was like how hot it was in the car. So then, after the car has cooled down, we had to wait ages for the car to cool down. We decide we're going to keep driving. Well, we don't even decide that. We have no choice. We have to keep going. You have to like you can't you have to drive through all of the enclosures all of the animals you can't just like because it's all one big thing you can't just drive out of it like see like oh i've seen the monkeys i'm just gonna leave now i've seen the rhinos i'm just gonna leave now you can't do that you have to like you have to drive through all of them right till the end um so yeah but so yeah so we have to keep driving the long leap zebra pattern cars come they're really cool and they're like escorting us and then like because the car is moving like they just they go away they're like oh they're fine they're fine if it happens again call us that's what they say and so then we think we're fine we're fine we're just we go we finish the rhinos the rhinos were great we go through there we finish it then we go into the tigers the uh, no they're not tigers they're lions i know this i know my cats like the lion enclosure, they are beautiful. But then, you never guess what, bloody the smoke and the steam, it happens again, doesn't it? Like, 
the steam coming out. Then we're we're at this whole process. We're like right. We're in a lion enclosure. I can see a lion. Do we get out? Do we stay in? Do we get out? Do we stay in? Do we get out? Do we stay in? What the hell do we do? You know, like what are we gonna do? This time we decide to stay in because I think that tigers eat a lot of meat and I'm quite meaty. So yeah, maybe maybe we'll just catch on fire. So we're just, we try and pull over but we can't even like properly pull over because like of the grass and the stuff. Like, so we just shut the car off. They just they shut the car off and we're just there. We're just here, like on the side. This is us and this is all the rest of the cars and they're just like going around us. Like, we can't do anything about it. We're just like, we're just there. Obviously, just a steel car does bring attention. So the like safari people, they come and like, and I think it's this like, this big guy pulls up, not this big guy, this big truck pulls up and this like, this German guy is in it. I think he was either German or Polish. I don't, I'm not good with accents, but I don't think he had like, the best English. He was very, very nice, but um, <laughs> he was like, we didn't quite know what to do. Like, we didn't, like, were we gonna follow him? Were we gonna stay here? There was like traffic all around us. And so like, what he did was he got him and he got his friend. I think there was like two of them. There was like a big van and like a car. And they like, do you know like in action movies when like the police go beside like a vehicle to like protect it so that it can go like straight through because if the car stopped it like if the car went slow then like the smoke came out and so and if obviously if the car's turned off it didn't move at all and we're in this middle of this blooming lion enclosure so what the hell are we supposed to do so we're like being escorted like with by two like trucks down the middle everyone at this point everyone is like looking in our windows like staring at us i think jade deaf stared back a few times <laughs> i was just kind of like what anyway so we get escorted through the lion enclosure we are like put in this little fence like there's like a little ticket booth thing it's not for tickets it's just for like they've got walkie talkies everyone's got walkie talkies like we've been here like an hour like they're just making us wait we are starving literally also Shelly needed a wee so she had to get out in the lion enclosure and do a wee not like just <laughs> not like on the ground just like they had a like a little what are those builder things you know like what the builders have like a little box they had one of those so that was like cool just getting out in a lion enclosure <laughs> just to pee <laughs> oh what am i on about anyway by this point we had like they gave us like a map and we were just like looking at all the food on the map because we were starving we had been like it's literally been like three hours we've been trying not to die by animals i just have to wait even longer and we are like starving so hungry but eventually we get out of it we get out of it and we get food i we all i think we all got hot dogs i think hot dogs and donuts oh, they were really good it's a pretty like it's a pretty damn good hot dog and i don't like even like sausages that much i've never eaten a hot dog so fast in my life it was really really good you know you know then we went to see the butterflies and we carried, and I got a really nice slush puppy, and we carried on our day, we carried our day on by like, well we just had a nice day after that I think. That was the time that I almost got killed at Longleat, I almost got eaten alive, we all did, burned to death or trampled by teeth. I don't know what I just said. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this cool video. If you like me, you can subscribe. Uh, I love you and don't die. Bye. <laughs>
juicy.